I hope I'm in like frame. I hope I'm in focus. All that. Ow! If not, that's tragic. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dominique. Maybe this is your first time seeing me. If so, uh, welcome. You have missed out on quite a lot. Um, all like 80 stages of my hair you've missed all of that go through watch all the past vlogs you'll be caught up on all of the different things i've done to my hair and yeah also my last video is a video of me shaving my head i didn't shave my head because my hair was like falling out or anything i shaved it because i like legitimately wanted to shave my head and so it was just like the next hairstyle choice so like just to clear that up I don't think there was any misconceptions or I'm acting like it was a controversy. Anyways, welcome to a new Etsy vlog. It is November 29th, which means <laughs> Black Friday happened two days ago, which means I'm literally in the middle of like a Black Friday shit. And that's going to be the like b a big part of this vlog. The aftermath of Black Friday, packing Black Friday orders, which I've been doing all day since like 10. It's currently 4 o'clock. I'm going to be working for two more hours. The first hour, I'm going to be packing orders still. And the second hour, I'm going to be prepping orders for my younger sister to pack in her room. Because um, she's been doing that for me. And it's very helpful and very nice to be able to have someone else pack orders and like whatever. It's great. All the orders are out there in a giant box that UP, USPS, the post office, is going to pick up tomorrow. It's literally just a huge box full of orders, and I don't know why I even added that, because, like, I don't know. I'll, I'll show it to you, but, like, I just... That had nothing to do with anything, but that's just where the orders are. I did want to quickly do a little inventory haul, because I've gotten quite a few exciting things in since the last vlog that I wanted to talk about. Yeah, so let's start. So the first thing is an order of like polymer clay sprinkles, which you already know if you've watched my vlogs, I do order these quite often. They're one, a really great source of inspiration for upcoming candles and wax melts. And also they're just really cute. And some of them are integral to the design of certain candles I have. So yeah, I order these from a supplier called Happy Kawaii Supplies. Here's their business card. And they always send me a cute little like slime sticker and some different cabochons. So I've got a hefty collection at the moment. Not hefty, I think I've ordered three times, but I'm always very pleased with the things I order. So let's quickly go through. I will do close-ups of everything uh, because you're not gonna be able to see it from this direction and angle. So first I have two little Christmas ones. These are gingerbread houses and these are mistletoe super cute uh super freaking cute like that's all i have to say then i have a 15 gram bag of playing cards which i use for the hisaka candle but um in my last vlog i talked about copyright issues and like the possibility of my shop being closed down and it turns out the hisaka candle was copyright by infringement which makes sense because i was using like a clip from the show. I was using an actual image of Hisaka. Hisaka, am I saying that right? So like that's my fault obviously, but it still kind of fucking sucks. Um, so I had to change the design, but I'm too nervous to put it back up in my shop. So this is part of that design. So then I have this bag. This is called Lucky Charms. That's what this mix is called. And I use it for the treat people with kindness candle. It's so freaking cute. It's like pastel rainbow, love it. Next I got four different bags for valentine's day because i freaking love valentine's day and i love valentine's day aesthetic so i got these little um conversation hearts this one i love i don't remember what it's called but it's a like pink and red super valentine's thing but then it's kind of got like these freaky deaky little ouija boards in there so it gives it a nice dark not like dark like it, it just kind of gives it a little bit of spice like you know lost love i don't know then i just got these pink freaking like anime sparkles um that's not really valentine's day specific 
but that's what I had to say to myself so that I could buy these because I just wanted little anime sparkles. And then I have these super freaking gorgeous holographic shiny ass red hearts. Then the last three are some cute freaking Easter ones. Did I hit record? Bruh. So I got a giant 15 gram, it's not giant, it's 15 freaking grams of this mix which i think is so cute like i saw it and i immediately had ideas it reminds me i play this video game valorant um i stream it on twitch if you are watching me on twitch go down below follow my twitch i will be gaming i don't have school for two freaking months i'll be gaming all the time give me a follow anyways this reminds me of a skin in valorant called glitch pop and it also reminds me of the map split there is a little store and it's kind of got this theme so it's got super cute little bunnies there's like flowers just a mix it's like super freaking fun and i have this cute ass mix which has like sugar cookie um circle sprinkles and then little chicks little peeps super duper cute and then this one's just a pastel flower and circle easter theme pastel mix so that's what i got from happy kawaii supplies link them down below check them out great place to get some shit i love them clearly Next is something I'm so freaking excited for because I have been dying to get my hands on one of these to spice up my packages a little bit. So I finally ordered one like two weeks ago and it came in and I was so excited. It was not supposed to come in until December 3rd, but it came early. It's a stamp. It's a stamp. Literally so excited. It just says books, tabs, and wicks. 100% soy candles and that has my logo, which is a candle sitting on top of a book and it came with ink super simple i got it off of zazzle um you'll see me use that later but i just like oh uh, i'm so excited it's kind of part of a rebranding situation you'll hear me talk about that i don't think this is the vlog where i'll go into depth about the rebranding but it is going to be happening it's taking taking place i got new business cards from vista print again i'll do a close-up new font new saying new everything pretty much same colors though because pink is my brand same logo obviously but i just think these look so much better they have my instagram my email and my etsy on there which is super helpful not something that was on there before and then there's actually room on the back for me to write my messages so i don't have to print out extra cards in orders to like write notes to people who buy so that's actually been super great and i have so many of them and i'm actually so excited i ran out of pink fill scribble scrunchy whatever the fuck paper last week so a bunch of orders had to go out without it because i was like uh, i don't i'm not gonna like keep buying like whatever like i just ran out of my 10 pound box so i ordered a new 10 pound box can you see it of squiggly pink paper but this time instead of ordering from uline because i've decided like i'm not buying from uline anymore i've talked about this like two vlogs ago i think like whatever we're not, we're not doing the whole uline situation so i ordered this from a brand called nashville wraps i think tennessee wraps actually whatever it is i'll link it down below they had super fast shipping super affordable so besides that i also ordered tissue paper I ordered two different colors, a hot pink and a light pink. This was so freaking um, affordable. And again, it came really fast. So this is 250 sheets of 20 by 26 inch sheets for like 13 bucks. I did get a new metal pouring pitcher. So that's exciting. Very exciting. I do think I'm gonna get a melting pot thing. I forget what they're called. One of the things that just melts the wax, a whole bunch of it, and then you dump it into the pitchers. I think, I don't know what it's called, but I'm gonna get one of those for Christmas from my mom. But I think she's gonna order it early and give it to me. So that's extra super pog. That's basically the, all the inventory haul I have to show you. So now we can get on to orders and that type of shenanigans. But I actually, need to cut up wrapping paper first so let's cut up some freaking wrapping paper i actually hate doing this it's so time consuming <music>
not gonna lie, that took a lot longer than I thought it would to like get in the freaking flow of like cutting these papers. It started off rough, figured it out in the goddamn end. So it's already five. Actually, seven, seven, in seven minutes it will be five, which means I, I didn't get, I spent an hour cutting papers. So I didn't get to spend an hour packing orders before I give them to my sister. Epic. So I'm going to, at the very least, show you what the system is I've evolved, devolved, came up with, come up with, to get this done quickly and efficiently. Let's get into how I'm going to do this thing. It's very easy. So I have my box of business cards. I'm just going to grab a chunk. I have my star punch. Then I have my sharpie with a fresh tip. Not a broken, jaggedy, blunt one. This one's tippy. I mean pointy. <laughs> this one is pointy. So, oh, damn. That's annoying. Shaking this thing is damn ass annoying. So how I start is over here on my screen with orders, which again, I'm not going to freaking show you because it's people's addresses and shit. I'm not about to show you that. But I have it open and I start flip the card to the back where I have that space to write and I write a message to the person who is ordering so this, this order is going to Megan so you know we write Megan a little note and you know we we punch it for however many orders they have this is Megan's first order thank you Megan for your first order she ordered um the Harry Potter trio bundle so Harry Ron and Hermione she ordered all three of them in the nice little bundle, saved herself some money, beautiful. And she also ordered on Black Friday, so she saved even more money. What a deal. So then what I do is flip the card over this way, put it in a pile, grab the next card, and move on to the next order, which is for Laura. She ordered a Draco candle as a gift. So for those ones, um... I don't like say, I hope you enjoy the candle. I say, I try and thank them for shopping with me to get a gift because that's something really freaky and special. And I actually truly, literally, truly, literally much definitely appreciate when people buy gifts from my small business instead of like Amazon, stinky Amazon or literally anywhere else. Like any small business super duper appreciates it when you like shop with them but especially it's like very nice to know that someone shopped with me to get a gift so that's the, f the first step i basically just go through my pile of note cards and my list of orders i write the note flip it over go to the next one go to the next one so when that's done i will show you the next step <music> stack of business cards done um since i was flipping them this way with this side up i just flip it over and it starts in the same place that i began in so this is 10 orders so i'm gonna grab 10 boxes uh seven regular ones and three big ish ones like i was saying now i have my boxes so this is what I got the stamp for to do some branding on the outside of these boxes. I think it adds a super cute look to these otherwise really ugly boxes. Like, they're not ugly, they're just brown and plain. But this kind of gives them a nice aesthetic, you know, a nice stamp. So I stamp every single box on the outside. done stamping this batch of boxes I'm gonna tape them all up and throw them onto the ground next to me so all my boxes are taped up down there all ten of them it takes so much longer than you think or at least it feels really long oh putting this pillow behind me feels so good on my back oh. basically then I got my business cards the orders scrolled all the way back up to where I started and boxes so the first order again is from Megan who ordered the trio bundle, the 
Harry Potter bundle. So I start by writing the order person's name. Always have something. Oh my god, XQC's live. Should we watch him? No. I love XQC. Even though he's like super, like his energy is super high, I find his streams to be really calm. But anyways, like I was saying, I always have something on in the background. Usually it's Twitch. Um, if you've watched my vlogs, you know I've gone through a couple different phases. Hikaru is one of my favorites to watch. Myth is one of my favorites, especially if he's doing a Valorant watch party. Don't know how I got on that tangent, but that's pretty much what I'm doing all the time. I realize I don't talk a lot in the vlogs usually. I don't share that much, so I'm trying to share more. But I feel like I could be sharing too much. Um, whatever. This might be a longer vlog than usual because I'm doing a lot of fucking talking. Anyways, so I got my box business card in. And then the next thing I do is just put the candles of the order in. So obviously I'm going to put harry hermione and ron in here so the next one i'm doing is draco for laura laura box laura's name on the box so grab the candle draco in card in click the little check box set the order in the appropriate pile and then i just do that whole process until i finish this um and then after i have all then then I, after i have them i put all the orders here and then i do this step one more time so then i get more orders and then like this whole area gets filled up with order boxes and then i wrap so i'm gonna do a time lapse of me wrapping packages <laughs> sister got distracted and then she went birthday shopping for one of my other sisters with my mom so um i ended up packing 51 orders by myself she's packing the last eight so to, thanks to her that's epic and awesome super glad to have her help even if it is the last eight packages my back hurts so bad i've never packed 51 orders in a day before that's literally so much. My back hurts. My knees hurt. But actually, I have, like, I haven't packed the full 51 yet. I've got a pile over here. The gift pile. I'm going to show you how I package gift orders. USPS is picking up my orders. The post office is picking up my orders tomorrow. I have already said this. The box I have them in is 60 pounds. Um, so I have to have all these orders in that box by tomorrow. Or in, like, four-ish. Which, they'll all be in there by tonight. Uh... But that does put a time time constraint on things because i need to get them done you know anyways i should technically be streaming it's almost 9 30 but i really need to finish these so i gotta do that first i do want to stream tonight yesterday i had a really good stream i got three new followers i think i'm almost 30 followers which means i'm 20 followers away from being affiliate which means you can get subscribers but the only reason i'm excited for that is so i can get emotes i want to get my own emotes so bad this is a tangent i told y'all i was gonna talk more and look at us this is actually just me procrastinating i want to back these damn orders this is a gift order someone ordered a ron weasley candle candle for someone else that's all right like i said earlier on the the I'm literally so tired, my words don't want to come out. Um, <laughs> on the gift. Oh, Jesus. On the. Oh my god. On the business card, I wrote, Thank you for shopping with me. And I hope this makes the perfect gift. So I'm going to wrap it to help it be the perfect gift. Obviously. We put a little warning label on the bottom of every single candle. Uh. 
you should probably do this too if you make candles. Pause and read if you're interested. It has care instructions. Basically, that's just me saying, bitch, here's your warning. I'm not about to be held responsible for your, like, incapability to properly take care of and handle an open flame but i'm also an llc so that liability would not be put on me it would be put on my llc that's a whole thing also i'm gonna be getting um whatever now i'll just say what i was just gonna say next step is the wrapping paper and i chose to go for a craft paper this has been a goal of mine to have a craft paper based uh, aesthetic fucking wrap in my shop again it's part of the rebranding that i am hinting at but this is also what i want to go for, for especially for gift wrapping um i think it adds a very nice cute clean aesthetic i hate that word um like i hate it because i feel like it's hard to say the thing about craft paper is that it doesn't stick with regular tape i found you literally have to use something super sticky and i found something that works is sticker labels i wouldn't like just buy sticker labels to tape this but this whole entire roll is not compatible with my my dymo xl label printer so like i just had this and it was wasteful like extremely wasteful just to have this and not be able to use it it was sitting and so it actually works perfectly that um i have it and i can use it like why doesn't craft paper stick you know anyway since it's christmas i have this beautiful why do i feel like i already talked about this i don't know i have this beautiful christmas twine hello F autofocus is not my friend today um so that's the next thing i do tie a little bow and it looks like a freaking christmas package it's so cute um and then for like regular candles why does it look better this way i keep tying them upside down even though i guess it like literally looks the same no it doesn't yeah it is either way it looks like a freaking christmas package and i am obsessed with how it looks like why does it look so cute yeah so that's pretty much oh why is it like the whole thing shaking? That's pretty much how I pack and order a gift or wrap a gift order, you know. And then I send the business card. Sometimes they order gift messages, which usually I write out, but I don't like my writing enough. And also like Black Friday is not permitting. Like I, I, I'm trying to be timely. So I've been printing them out. He has it automated. It prints out like this or like this. I just cut it, fold it put it in on top, package it normal. So here's a time lapse of me finishing all these goddamn gift orders. <laughs> and frame i don't know either way i got an order so i thought i would open it with you i already cut the top so i'll just cut the sides this is a fragrance oil order from nature's garden which is one of my go-to suppliers for fragrance oils okay so for black friday they were having a 10 percent off sale they never have sales and I always order for them from, I always order from them. So I was like, uh, obviously, obviously I'm going to order with this little 10% sale, even though that's like a dinky sale. Like that's not that much really. Um, but I went a little crazy, bought a lot of stuff. Some I needed, some just to prepare for when I need them. So I got some big bottles, some medium bottles, and some small bottles. But before we get to that, I also got a pound of whipped soap base. I'm really excited for this. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing anything with it 
in this vlog, but it will be something I'm doing eventually and soon-ish. I might do it in this vlog. I don't know. It just depends. I'm still working through Black Friday orders. I still have a second half of them to get out. Um, all that, whatever. Let's just, let's just get into this freaking scent. Ooh, I got a four-ounce bottle of mango peach salsa because that's a scent I use in the Treat People with Kindness candle and I ran out. I got vanilla lavender. I want to try that. Did I hit record? Bro. That scared me. Um, I, I, um, it just sounded appealing and I thought I might as well try. Yep, yeah, that smells great. Oh my god, that smells so good. That was, I knew that was gonna be a good one. Hot Fudge Brownie was the scent of the month. Every month they have a scent of the month where you can save if you buy it. So this was like seven bucks, I think. It's Hot Fudge Brownies. Um... Some bakery scents from Nature's Garden are very hit or miss. Um, I bet your boyfriend doesn't kiss you. Um, but I was like, I'm gonna try it. The picture looks good. <laughs> so hopefully it isn't disgusting. <gasps> nope, that's actually amazing. That smells exactly like brownies. Ooh, they killed that, that's good. Got blood orange because I was running low. Lemon lavender running low. These are um, eight ounce bottles, so they're like the big. Oh my gosh, they're the big ones. This is weird though because this this is usually how they come, but this one came in this bottle. I mean, obviously it's all the same, but these are just fragrances I needed for restocks. One's for Harry Potter. One's for Draco. One for, and then the other two are for watermelon sugar. At Nature's Garden, after you add 10 one ounce samples to your basket, you get like 10 cents off each one or something, I think. I don't know, you save some money, so I always make sure to order at least 10 one ounce fragrance samples. Let's see what I got. Sometimes, I usually when I get them, I like to take them to my mom and have her smell them and try and guess what they are. Um, but she's not home. And a lot of these I have already. Ooh, I got chocolate, raspberry, drizzle. I love this smell. It's so good. It's like more raspberry than chocolate. Like way more raspberry. But it's just like a nice, like, it's like a cute little moment. Citrus strawberries, great. Ooh, this is a new one. This is grapefruit. I've gotten a lot of requests for grapefruit candles. <laughs> I always have to like make the smell up like a concoction that smells like grapefruit so I was like let me just buy this for you guys just a, a clean cotton smell because I don't have one. Ooh, banana nut bread that's new I love banana bakery smells not banana smells but banana bakery oh my god that smells great too blueberry pancakes is a good one Some, another citrus strawberry Bermuda Triangle, that's a fun little like citrusy drink. Oh, I got lemon. I have a lemon scent, but it's juicy lemon. This one's just straight up lemon. Mm, strawberry Patch, I was excited to try this because obviously I, I have a fair deal of strawberry scents, but this one had like flowers and peaches on the picture. I thought that was intriguing. Oh. That smells like peach rings, actually, not so much strawberry. That's interesting. It's it's new, it's new. It says new in the title in all caps. And I'm so excited for this. It's Rainbow Sherbert. Okay, there's not an R in Sherbert at the end, but I'm not saying Sherbet, Sherbet. I, or, and it's not Sorbet. I'm saying Sherbert. Mm. That just smells like a gummy bear. Mm, that's uh I did not capture rainbow sherbert anyways just wanted to hop in and share I've been cleaning my room and it looks amazing um so that's what I'm doing today and then in a little bit I am going to pack orders and that's all I'm gonna do today I just haven't packed orders yet because I don't I ran out of peaking peaking pe I ran out of packing peanuts so my mom's picking up some more, but actually, um, oh wait, but actually what I literally forgot. Oh.
Um, yeah, so that was my little intermittent haul. I've been cleaning my room. I'm gonna finish with laundry and then go to packing orders. And then I need to get up the YouTube video I edited today. I edited it this morning and I went to like extract it from my phone or whatever <laughs> to upload, but I don't have enough storage on my phone to save it. So I have to like do some stuff on my phone and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, so after I, I guess I'll sit and upload the YouTube video um, and everything like that. Then I'll do my laundry, finish picking up, um, and then I'll either, like, label and put away all these new scents, or I will pack orders. I'll try and do both, but, like, whatever. So, anyways, I'll see you probably tomorrow. I probably won't get out and film again. It's also Wednesday, December 2nd now. Uh, I didn't film yesterday because I was just packing orders. Is today Wednesday or Tuesday? I'm not really sure what today is, but whatever. Okay, it's Saturday night. Um, I spent a lot of this morning making candles for leftover orders. I packed orders, prepped orders. I've got orders ready, taking a bunch of orders tomorrow morning. And then I restocked the shop today, so I'm starting, that's what you hear, I'm restarting, or I'm making restock candles. And any orders placed today, Sunday, today and Sunday, will be going out by Monday. So, that's where we're at. Super rush, super, you know, get shit done. Anyways, that's what I'm doing. I'll see you tomorrow with like candle finishing time lapses, label time lapses, order packing time lapses, shit like that. Uh, also TSN, my favorite esports team, won today and I'm so excited. And 100 Thieves won against Sentinels, which Sentinels is like TSM's rival and they were kind of the favorite in that match. No one cares, but I just want to talk about this. I love it. Um, so that means TSM is going to play 100 Thieves, and 100 Thieves is like my second favorite team. Anyways, they're just really enjoyable. I love TSM. Hikaru. Did I say Hikaru? Obviously. That's a given. When he got signed to TSM, I was so excited. Anyways, what am I talking about? No one cares. Goodbye.